today we're over here in Tahitian Village and as you all know from the Bastrop County area this is a very steep terrain um, area so you get a lot of heavy runoff during rain so this is a very good solution for water control. I am Chad at Butler Contracting and today we are on site installing a French drain. We're going to install six basin boxes. Right there is one of them. roughly 220 feet of dual wall corrugated drain pipe, four inch in diameter. We want to find our grade when we get on site to start installing the drain pipe in the basin boxes. So we're going to find our high point and our low point and make sure that we got at least a one inch drop per five feet generally um at least for good drainage um, certain locations you might have more but no less hopefully here we're going to run it all the way to the road ditch and we got plenty of drop so to check our grade we uh, have the zip level and we'll zero it out on our high point and generally that's where we're going to start our basin box um, as long as there's slope going to that. Um, like for this instance, we're right along the eaves of the house. It's got a natural low spot all the way around, but then it's got a high spot that kind of just traps the water. So we're gonna drain that low spot area down to the ditch so it's not affecting the house foundation. When we show up on site, we wanna locate all the utilities, power, sewer, uh, water, etc. Um, we got to hand dig them. We got a couple exposed. We had to go underneath. That's the first thing we want to do before we start trenching so we don't hit none of that. So after we mark our utilities and get them hand dug and exposed, we'll start trenching with the Vermeer and the trencher. We trench from basin box to basin box and just connect them all together in the, with the same pipe so they're all in line. <clears throat> And you use the basin box to make 90s turn corners um, so there's going to be three on this side of the house and three on the other side of the house yep so the the basin box is what catches the water um, they're 12 by 12 with a steel grate uh, hold up pretty well to the elements and lawn mowers and then the the dual wall pipe you'll never see um, that's roughly six inches underground and the basin box catches it and then the water runs out the pipe to the ditch. So if you have standing water around your property, especially close to your house, this would be a good suggestion, um, good investment for the future. Uh, water will affect your foundation over time. It gets underground, softens the ground, house settles, etc. So this is a little invasive at first, but once installed, it's very minimal exposure. <laughs> 